A lot of North Texans this morning woke up to frozen pipes. Our Andrea Lucia was one of them. She joins us live now to talk about how this can cause serious damage to your home and what you can do about it. Hope it's getting better, Andrea. Yeah, my situation got resolved, thank goodness. But if you are turning on your faucet and you're not seeing running water, which is what happened to me this morning, then you have a frozen pipe. It might affect just one faucet. It might affect all the faucets in your home. Uh, but the good news is that those pipes will thaw and you will have running water again. The bad news is, is that that is when you will find out if you have a broken pipe because when water freezes, it expands. Pipes generally do not. When once they thaw out, then that's when it's going to show up. Because right now, when it's frozen, it could have a split pipe, but that frozen water is there holding that shut. I spoke to Craig Bingham with Total Plumbing. He says they're getting a lot of calls from people with frozen pipes right now, but there's not much you can do until they thaw. You can try to get them to thaw out a little bit quicker by opening up cabinet doors or propping open the entrance to your attic if you've got pipes up there to let some of the heat from your house warm them up. You can also use a space heater to add some extra heat. Just make sure you do not leave one unattended. The main piece of advice, though, is to know how to turn off the water to your house if a leak does show up. I did ask Craig if that's something we should go ahead and do already. Do you, you turn it off once the you notice the leak, or should you do it before the leak potentially starts? You kind of, it's, it's a 50-50 there. Um, if you want to still have water, on some, if you have water on some parts of your house, but on the other parts you don't, it's going to be totally up to you as the customer because you might want to still have that water flowing to where you can use the, the toilets, you know, maybe take a shower if you do have that water. But it is always good to turn it off if you can. Yeah, Bingham says if you are leaving town for Christmas or you're uh, going to be away from your home, you really should consider turning the water off to your house. You don't want it flooding while you are away. Uh, he says if you don't know how to do that, you can call your city's fire department or your local plumber. He says right now, that's pretty much all a plumber can do for you. Robbie? Very good advice and so glad things are looking up at your place there. Thank you, Andrea.